sign. So going over the front squat quickly, the first thing we want to do is make sure we get that bar in position correctly across the shoulders. So uh, for this one, you're going to need uh, adequate wrist mobility. There is a different way to grip the bar. I'm not going to show that. For this video, I will go over it in, this, in another video. But for today, we're going to be holding the bar in the front rack position, which is more challenging and also the more optimal position to hold the bar. So as you can see, I am holding the bar across the shoulders. It's kind of rolling off the fingers a little bit. Still gonna need a good amount of wrist flexibility. And then as you can see from this angle, my elbows are up at shoulder level. So you wanna make sure those elbows stay up the entire time, don't let them drop. Uh, if your elbows drop, it's gonna place a lot more stress in the wrist and then eventually you'll probably end up dropping the bar. Now the front, rat, uh, the front squat, uh, when the weight's across the shoulders, naturally going to want to pull you forward more. So it's really important to make sure that upper back maintains upright. Uh, so you want to make sure your thoracic spine, that's that mid spine area, is upright because it can cause uh, some caving in of the spine. So uh, particularly for heavier front squats, you really don't want to go super high reps on them just because uh, that back will start getting tired and your form is probably going to uh, be sacrificed at that point. So I wouldn't go much higher than 20 reps. In fact, I rarely go that high on reps unless it's a lighter weight, uh, just, uh, just for my back's sake. But it is a phenomenal exercise uh, that um, you should definitely utilize, but making sure obviously that you have adequate flexibility to get down into the squat position with a good spinal position and that you have good shoulder and wrist flexibility to be able to hold that weight in position correctly. There's a, an alternative you can use, uh, which would be a goblet squat with a dumbbell to build up to this if you're not able to do the barbell front squat yet. Uh, so give that a try. If you can't uh, knock out the front squat yet, uh, you can do that as a regression. Um, but other than that, uh, Go ahead and enjoy this exercise. It's great for the quads and just overall leg development in general. And hit me in the comments with any feedback.